Hello guys, Lustric SD, my name is Toby and today we're gonna take a quick look of the Photoshop CS6 beta. So first let's take a look at about Photoshop. It's a beta version of Photoshop CS6, not the final version. Okay, add in a superstition beta. And first um very like of the Photoshop CS6 is the nice dark user interface we have here and you actually can customize it in the edit preferences and interface you can use a light interface just like in Photoshop CS5 or you can use the dark interface a newly made dark interface and then you can migrate all your settings from Photoshop CS5 to your new Photoshop CS6 and then we get a mini bridge and timeline here we can show you the mini bridge so it's like a mini bridge in CS5 but it's located all with a nice panel you can minimize and maximize and it works the same way as the mini bridge for Photoshop CS5. I'm gonna minimize it and take a look at the tools. So first the tools is a crop tool. Actually it's all called crop tool we find in all version of Photoshop. But we got a straighten tool here. So click that straighten icon there and draw a straight line for the alignment and Photoshop will use your line as a straight line and rotate the photo and then crop it like this and we get, we still got the old style the old style Rotate and crop just like that. I escape. So let's move to another tool. And the next tool is the content aware move tool. So it works like the content aware we found in Photoshop CS5. But actually, it moves things and make it easier to move so I'm gonna draw a quick selection of this rock and then just drag the rock and move it wherever I want and then what Photoshop gonna do it's gonna delete your old rock and copy it to another and content aware Content aware patch this grass here, and actually, we got two modes of move so we got move and extend. So, with the extend mode, we actually copy this rock. So, we move the rock without deleting the old. So, nice, and it saves time. And then I think the next is convert for smart filters. So I'm gonna so smart filter to enable re-editable editable smart filters. Re-editable filters. Okay. And let's make a lens flare just like in our old Photoshop. Lens flare nothing changes off the lens layer ok put the lens layer there and we're gonna re-edit this lens layer maybe add some brightness and double click the lens layer actually open the lens layer dialog and you can adjust the brightness and then move your lens layer onto you on to the new position
Yeah, so you don't need to undo and make a new lens layer. It's editable and works with all filters. So yeah, that's I think. I think that's all the new features in Photoshop CS6 beta. This is Toby Music SD. You like it? If you very like this video and favorite it if you very very like and favorite this video and share it with your friends here on Facebook Twitter with your friends and subscribe to see more videos and more tutorials coming soon and thanks for watching